Welcome to the Manana Ventures YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. I'm your tutor, Figure Store. So today we'll be doing bending moment diagrams. Now bending moment diagrams are based on your shear force diagram as well as your force diagram. Now, the shear force diagram will help us to identify critical points. Because that's the first thing we have to do, to identify critical points. Now, the ends of a bending moment diagram are always zero. So, those are critical points. Where the shear force diagram crosses the zero line of the shear force diagram, that's a critical point as well. That's a critical point. Wherever there is a big change, that is a critical point critical point there and a critical point there finally okay let's get into it now moment the formula for a moment is force times distance okay so that is what we'll be looking for. Let's get right into it. The first force we encounter is this 5 kilonewtons. But we have a critical point right there. And that critical point is at a distance of 5 meters. So that's 1 meter there between these two points. It's 1 meter. Just to note that. Okay, so let's start with this first critical point there. Z5. We need to calculate what is the bending moment there. Remember, our moment is force times distance. And we're going to take clockwise as positive. Okay? So, if we are standing here, okay, or rather, let's go to our force diagram. If we're standing here, and then we are moving up, okay, this first critical point here, and it moves up, it, it it's going to move a clockwise direction, right? So that's positive. But this UDL here is pushing it down, and it's going to move an anti-clockwise direction, which means that it's going to be negative. So what we're going to do is that we're going to say we're going to have a force of 5 kilonewtons times a distance. Remember, we're standing there, and we have 5 kilonewtons times a distance of 5 meters. Oh, sorry. Times a distance. Let's start again. 5 times 5. And it's positive. But the UDL now, this is a UDL. It's, we're given that it's 1 kilonewton per meter. So to convert this into a force, first of all, it's going to be negative. It's going to be 1 kilonewton per meter times a distance of 5 which makes it 5 kilonewtons. And a UDL always works out to a distance of half. So half of 5 is 2.5. So it's acting at half the distance times 2.5. That gives us get our calculator we have 5 times 5 minus 1 times 5 times 2.5 that gives us 12.5 now that means that at that critical point there our bending moment is 12.5, so we can 
mark it right there and say 12.5 now because it's a udl a udl always moves parabolically so this is a, par it's a parabolic movement it's not straight up it's curving like a parabola okay our next critical point is that one there okay so we're gonna do the same thing that we did here we're standing here the first force we encounter is that five so we're gonna say five times and it's moving a distance of six this time six meters six minus now the udl is an entire six so it's gonna be one kilonewton per meter times six so, so that that thing in the bracket represents the force alone times the distance of remember it always acts a distance of half so half of six is three okay now let's put that in a calculator we're gonna have Five times six minus one times six times three. Then we get twelve. That means at that critical point there is twelve. So let's say our twelve is somewhere there. That's a parabolic or parabolic movement as well. Okay. Now our next critical point. Is there which is rather there we'll do the same calculation okay so we're standing here now our first force is five so we're gonna say five times and it's a distance since we're standing there it's two plus six so it's a distance of eight. Distance of eight. Minus, okay, so we're standing here. We have a UDL there. It's, it has a force of one kilonewtons per meter. It, it travels six meters. So that represents the force alone, six kilonewtons. And it acts a distance of three, which is half. It's at half there. But since we are standing here, we also have to add this two. So it's three plus two, which is five. So the distance is five. Okay. Let's put that in a calculator. Five times eight minus one times six times five, and we get ten. Okay, so that means that that critical point there. We're down at 10. And it's not a parabolic movement. It's a straight line diagonal movement. Because it's not a UDL. So we just... Distance of 10. Okay. The next critical point is there. Okay. So likewise... It's five, a force of five at a distance of six plus two plus two, which is eight, ten. So we're going to have five times ten minus one times six. That's, that's, our, that's our force. 
but it acts at remember at the middle there so that's three plus two that's five plus another two to take us back where we're standing which is seven okay now we have another one here we're still standing here this force it's acting down as well, which is anti-clockwise, which means we subtract it. So it's going to be 5 kilonewtons times a distance of 2. So we'll come here, minus 5 times 2. We'll get our calculator. We're going to have 5 times... 10 minus 1 times 6 times 7 minus 5 times 2. And we get minus 2. Okay, so that means that our critical point here, we add right there, it's minus 2. Okay, because it's not a UDL, it's a straight diagonal line. You can use our ruler right there. Two. Now, at the end, it's always zero, so we can do that. Take us back to zero. It's positive there, it's negative there. That is now that completes our bending moment diagram thank you very much